name is Ashlyn Quickle, and my hometown is Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, my name is Emily Hunt, and I'm from Bryant, Arkansas. I'm Mary Beth Barden. Yeah. And I'm from Searcy, Arkansas. The Faye Jones School. Oh my gosh. So I love art and I love math. And so I thought the Faye Jones School was a perfect major to choose. It's one of the best. I had a friend that uh, went through the interior design program here and told me about it. And after my sophomore year of high school, I came and toured the interior design program and decided that this is where I wanted to be here at the Faye Jones School of Architecture. Describe briefly the studio that you're in right now. I'm in first year studio, which means that all of the disciplines of architecture, landscape architecture, and interior design are combined. We're creating spaces with just plates, so all the spaces just need to be like interconnecting, um, but also have like a certain flow to them. We are doing a bunch of drafting right now, and we're doing some wood shop and some um, chipboard materials. I mean, the main issue is kind of just like how to create space and designing it well so that it, it has an overall flow. It's all about like design decisioning and so making, I don't know, you want to make like it complex but you don't want to make it too complex so you're like finding that like balance mm -hmm. of prettiness in the project and using the right elements. Um, I'm proud of like how far I've come. Um, it's nice to see where I started out in this project. I'm part of finally being able to create a moment in my model, even if just one, that somebody that looks at it goes, ooh, I like that. That's a good feeling. Going into this, I thought that I wanted to be an interior designer. And then, like, just being in the class already, I, can, I really like see the architecture side of it because they talk about, you know, architecture and that you talk about, like, everything, like, landscape and interior design and architecture. And so I really found that I love architecture more. And so, like, next semester, I'm thinking about switching to architecture. My name is Sarah Toppy, and I am from a small town called Monticello, Arkansas. My name is Carla Chang, and I'm an international student here. I'm from Panama. And my name is Molly Evans. I'm from Conway, Arkansas. Uh, I'm Dylan Hursley, and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. And I'm Evan Hursley, and also from Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> this is Comprehensive Studio, so we're, we're combining all the aspects of studio that we've learned so far. And then also the overall design concepts, so you know, uh, how a program is organized and what your goals are. So this uh, studio is known as the Comprehensive Studio because you're putting all those ideas together into one. This year they're doing something a little different. Instead of designing our own form, we were actually given a form. Each of us were given an individual form. And we had to uh, make a model of this building using a 3D printer. And after that, we decide how we might turn this into a habitable space. We can change the form however we want to as long as it maintains the same DNA as what we've been calling it. These are weird shapes to work with and so it pushes us outside of our comfort zone and gives us extra challenges that we don't normally think about. And then also adding on all the technical aspect of the building which we're learning right now so doing learning it and applying it at the same time while trying to make a building work is a, a, a huge challenge. And the Lyceum project is a national competition among um, different universities and the project brief is different every year. That year it was uh, Charles Winfro and he wrote a program that was about the problems of uh, our aging society and the way he phrased it was that he wanted us to redesign the uh, Empire State Building into elderly housing. So transforming the Empire State Building was a challenge because it's such an iconic building and we had to choose whether we wanted to keep the same look of the building and just change the interior or change the building entirely. Uh, specifically in my project, um, the way I represented it, I didn't really focus on the elderly as aspect because I didn't think you really needed to call that out. If it's a good design, it should address all people anyway. I decided to go a route in between so you could still see um, what it was, but yet it was something that looked like from the future. I, I think that's probably uh, a common string that you'll find through the, the people that place and the, the compositions that, you know, you know, elderly people are people. It's, yeah. it's that basic. Well, I think one of the proudest things for me and for a lot of us this semester is the amount of work that we've done. Um, every night we come in here and every day we come in here and we're just always producing work. And I think that looking back and being able to see, wow, I've done this many drawings and I've done this many models 
and knowing that you've designed it and knowing that you've worked this hard to, to achieve this product has been really fulfilling. Yeah, and we're at a point where um, right now it would be the end of the semester in a different studio, so it would have taken twice the amount of time. So, yeah, we worked twice as fast trying to get it done and trying to add all the other aspects to a building. So that's been very fulfilling in knowing that um, it's just all about working and like talking to your professors and talking to your classmates. Like it's been a very um, like collaborative. Like it's yeah. just it's been nice to the way that it's been um, structured. So you always get feedback. Um, you always get input. So that's been good. Yeah, we get great individual input from our professors as well as in a group setting. We have reviews, and so yeah. um, we get to hear our individual input, but also the input that our classmates are getting. And so applying general feedback to our own projects is really helpful.